Neuroplasticity is a quality that all of our brains have, and it is our ability, our brain's ability, to find new solutions to problems as they arise. And when a person in Shelley's condition, with a condition similar to cerebellar ataxia, and many others, um, are, are there, when their bodies are trying to cope with those changes, uh, their brains are trying to find new ways to get information, the information that they need to coordinate their limbs, to, to be able to move in a normal way uh, as they used to. Um, in Shelley's case, when she holds the handle of Jordan's harness, her body is picking up on messages from his movement. So she is essentially relearning how to move in a coordinated way through his body and his movement. And that just cannot happen with an inanimate object. She can use a cane, and she has tried to use a cane and tried to use walking sticks and found that she does not have enough coordination to manage. I kind of, I drive with kind of, you know, really big turns, kind of the way I would if I was hauling a horse uh -huh. or something, because That's if good. I have Jordan the back, you want to I be... gotta take care of him first. Good, good and for you. That's good. Yeah. He yeah. make he make sure I'm okay. I make sure he's okay. Wonderful teamwork. Yeah. Wonderful. I make a point that if we go someplace, when I take his harness off, I take his harness off and then I give him a hug and tell him thank you so much. Um, and now I put them up. And I think that it's kind of like when we're outside, he's in charge when that we're inside. You know, or when I'm sitting down, I'm in charge. Uh-huh. That's <laughs> um, fair. So when you, when you say you get home and you take him out of harness and you put him out, you mean for his I fun time, him, his fun time outside. Out yeah. So he can rest. Yeah. Where he can bark and run, yeah. Yeah. Wherever he wants to, you know. So you think he's kind of keeping an eye on you? You mean when you're think, around yeah, the house so. or in the yard together? Yeah. He yeah. he lays towards where I am. Um, he, he, if I'm holding on to something, uh -huh. he's less watchful. I uh -huh. guess. Yes. Um. Because he can if sense I'm that not you're holding on. Yeah. And he makes sure he's like, okay, uh, he's he doesn't like to run on the grass and get his feet wet. Uh. But I fall when the grass was wet, and he came and ran over to me even when the grass was yeah. wet. Oh, yeah, yeah. He knows you. He you you shouldn't be on the ground. Right. I think right. he knows that's not where you want to be. Right. Good. That's good. That yes, you d you require more careful watching when you're not holding on to something. He seems to know that. Yeah. That's yeah. good. He's perfect. He's turned out to be. I call him my twofer because he helps me physically, but just having a dog in the house helps helps me emotionally. Because sure. I'm, I'm a really big animal person, yeah. so to have a dog there that I can just hug on whenever I want to I, is awesome. I think everybody would understand that. All dog lovers would understand how you feel about that.